What's up guys, it's your boy Paul Beasy here back with another video and today we are going to go over my best pulls from different packs so far this season. After uh, last year being my first year and having basically two significant pulls, albeit one of them was a golden ticket, my luck was not very good. But this year things have changed at least so far so let's uh, go through here and I'll show you some of my best pack pulls this season. First off here, we do have an Elite Plus player pack, and we pulled a 90 overall Von Miller. As you can see at the top, this is on my main account when I was an 84 offense, 84 defense. So this was a huge pull. This was the second Elite Plus player pack that I opened on the Sunday that they came out. So I was pretty stoked. Next, as you see here, is an 88 overall spread Le'Veon Bell. And this was a great pull as well. This guy at that time was worth about 750K. So since I didn't run spread, I didn't keep him. But this was a great uh, pull to make some coins. Next is this 88 Julio Jones. An amazing pull. This guy kept his value for a very long time. This guy was, uh, you know, at about 650k by the time that I at the time that I pulled him so definitely a, a nice pull I remember opening that morning and I was like you know what let's open one elite player pack and I pulled an 88 Julio so I was like we will stop there a few days later I open another one and we pull an 86 smash mouth Ezekiel Elliott so this was one of the early running backs that did have 90 speed so this is definitely a cool pull as well and that is what we have pulled so far of significance out of elite player packs. During the Hall of Fame promo, there was a these coin events that could get you fame or you could spam the jacket events to get fame to give yourself a shot at these VIP challenge events. I did pull a 1% pull to get the helmet to get myself a thousand fame to give me 10 shots at the Larry Fitzgerald event all it took was 10 tries, and on my last try, I pulled a 1% pull, Larry Fitzgerald, 91 overall. The very next day, I am at work, and I get about 300 fame, and what do I do? I go, I got three tries on the Adam Vinatieri, and another 1% chance pull on a 91 overall Adam Vinatieri kicker. So, in two days, three 1% chance pulls. When EA released the Quad Hub, it started to give us opportunities to gain collectibles to go after different promos. And as you see, in this main event pack, we got 100 flashback bolts, and a couple days later, on one of the regular live event packs, another 100 flashback bolts. So with that luck, we decided to open one of the flashback packs. When I opened it up, I saw a shaker. I knew that there was an elite, but I did not expect an update team, 89 overall, Landon Collins with a plus two awareness boost. So at this time, I was on a pretty good roll. The next week, new flashback players came out and on a boomer bust pack, 5% chance, we pulled the Whitney Merciless. From now on, I will open every single quad hub boom or bust 5% chance pack for the rest of the season. The following Sunday, EA came out with some NFL 24-7 game day packs for 500 Madden cash. I had the itch to open a pack, so I decided to pull, pop one of them, and we ripped this to get an 89 JJ Watt. I stopped there because I felt, felt that I already had pressed my luck. Next we saw Color Clash come out, and I opened a couple color palette packs, pulled an 87 AJ Green, which was a great pull, but I'm not sure how you guys took advantage of this promo but this promo to me was the best promo of the year i upgraded a lot of my team but i made a crazy amount of coins once you got two of the color palettes to tier three then you could take your chance at one of the middle coin events and i myself went after the ogletree event the ogletree event was forty thousand coins per try but I'd say one out of 20 tries, you will pull the Ogletree. They were selling for about a million coins at the time. As you see, I'm showing you a few different ones I pulled. I pulled about 20 Ogletrees and just stacked up on a lot of coins as well as spamming some of the Telvin Smith event and did pretty well there as well. So 
Leaving that promo, I ended probably made about 10 to 15 million coins, totally upgraded my team a lot, and it was a lot of fun gambling, opening packs, taking chances as well. I know this next one isn't a crazy poll, but card polls do exist in the Quad Hub live events. This was a nice poll out of an easy live event, so I did screenshot it as well. When the next Football Outsiders packs came out, I decided to open one, and we pulled the highest overall possible Football Outsiders player, which was an 89 overall punter. I don't think I've ever been as disappointed in pulling the highest overall player, but it definitely did help my special teams in my overall. On the Saturday morning that we got the Randy Moss Legends Master, I started ripping some Boomer Bus Packs to get some of these badges up so I could complete one more player to have enough trophies to complete him, and we pulled an 86 Champ Bailey. We also pulled some other lower elites and golds, but this 86 Bailey was definitely a really nice pull. Next, on a different day that I had an itching to open a pack, we decided to open two All Madden packs, and in our first one, we pulled an 87 cornerback, AJ Boye, and on our second pack, we got an 87 overall running back, David Johnson. So those both yielded some pretty nice coins, and it was a pretty nice pull. When EA gifted us with more coin packs, and the ability to try to pull a primetime player with a 5% chance pull, I was all for it. First weekend, first Thursday night football, I pull a 90 overall safety Buda Baker on my main account. Then I hopped over to my alt to see if I could get the same luck, and we pull another Buda Baker on the alt account. At this point, I was hooked as if I already wasn't pulling packs, but that Sunday night football, we opened all four packs on both accounts and we get a Joe Mixon on my main as well as a Travis Col Kelsey, two primetime players in four packs and we get just lucky enough to pull a 91 overall Travis Kelsey on my alt as well. Next, on the next primetime game, we pull an Olivier Vernon 92 overall on my alt so we definitely hit on that one and he was an update team so he's still on the squad next we pulled zach fulton 90 overall offensive guard for the texans on my alt account as well so i am now will be opening every primetime boomer bus pack for the rest of the season we did open seven in the first two weeks so i did have some pretty good luck i struck out on the last two primetime games but that's all right, we'll keep going. A 5% chance, I recommend everybody to try. Next, during Most Feared, I did have a nice live event pull of an Elite 2 vertical offensive guard, Joe Thune. was pretty stoked about this. This guy was an update team, so I threw him on. Next, we decided to open a 250 Madden Cash pack with two Gold Plus players, and we pull a... Elite 2 and an Elite 1 out of two Gold Plus player packs, so I was pretty stoked about this. And on Halloween night, not only did we get enough candies, lollipops, and candy bars to get the 90 plus select pack for both of my accounts, but in the Gold Plus pack, I did pull a Pharaoh Cooper cornerback, so that was pretty sick. And with the 199 cash pack for the most feared movie Hopper, we pulled an 87 Tyreek Hill. I was pretty stoked about that. Tyreek Hill's had an amazing season. And pulling an 87 overall was definitely a great pull as well. So overall, so far this season, I have had some amazing luck. Hopefully it keeps coming. And uh, I will keep uh, ripping packs to see what we can pull, what we can get. So I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Again, you guys do have the opportunity hop over to our discord we're always over there chatting talking about the game talking about fantasy football talking about the nfl and uh you know dropping tips and hints and things like that when things drop in the game so the link is in the description if you guys want to join hop over join and uh we'll have a good time i appreciate you guys you guys are the best paul beezies out